I'm Harvey Starr and welcome to Starr Labs. This is the Zetar MIDI guitar controller and today I'm going to be showing you a few things about setting it up. First let me show you what are the elements of the instrument itself. This is the Zetar fingerboard, a 24 fret fingerboard that has a touch sensitive key for every note position on the guitar neck. I'll be explaining more about this later. Also there's a set of string triggers. You use these to strum and pick just as you would an ordinary guitar. Zetar can also have an optional string of pots installed that will allow you to control your software synthesizers and your modules. Things like volume levels, distortion levels, effects levels, tempo timing, timing for your loops. Each one of these pots can control up to eight MIDI messages at a time. Also, there's a joystick you'll notice. You can use that for a whammy bar. It's also set up out of the box for mod wheel in one direction and channel after touch in another direction. But you can program these for anything you like and you can use it for some very interesting effects. Everything on the instrument is programmable, including the volume pot and any sensors that are installed on your instrument. Here's where your connections are made. Here I'm showing the basic connection that shows the MIDI cable in your MIDI output port. This also carries power from the Phantom Power System. Here's a MIDI input port, and you use that for connections to your computer for saving and restoring your setups. Here you can see we have two quarter inch phone jacks, and this holds two industry standard pedals, a sustain pedal and a volume pedal, and then your power switch. Also, you notice this instrument is, is installed with USB port, as are all of our instruments now. It, it's uh, USB 2.0 compatible and power will be supplied to the instrument through that port. Here's the power switch you can see is set up with two positions. The power switch then is set up to power either from the local power or USB. Here's where we program the instrument. Here you can see our programming display and a number of buttons around the display for making selections. Each button on the display is used to make a selection in that screen, which will vary from screen to screen, which allows us to program a lot of things with very few buttons. Over here are a set of function keys. We call these hot keys. They're used to get at certain features that you'd like to get to in a hurry, particularly during performance. For instance, this trigger button allows you to turn the triggers on and off so that you can perform it like a guitar where you're strumming and picking. Or if you want to shut that off and tap the instrument alone, you turn off the trigger button and now you're tapping it like a keyboard. There's also a mode where you can do both at the same time. I'll show you that as well. Also, the Zetar has a unique feature that it'll play more than one, one note per string. So if you're playing one note per string like a guitar, we can have hammer-ons available to you. But if you want to play like a piano player does and you get multiple notes per string with playing cluster voicings, piano voicings, you set that button in place and then you can do that as well. Also, one thing I should add, if you have a guitar and you notice this metal strip on the rear of the neck, don't remove this. This is part of the muting system. It helps uh, when you touch the strings, you're muting the strings dead on. And this is not a piece of protective tape. This is part of the muting system. Let's connect the Zetar to power using the power box one, PB1. Connect your nine volt DC source, that's our wall wart, to the plug here. Here's a connection with a MIDI cable to your synthesizer or computer interface. And then a MIDI cable will connect from the power box to the Zetar MIDI output port. Make sure to use a five wire MIDI cable. This is because power is run on the outside two pins of the MIDI cable. And these are the two pins that are ordinarily not used in regular MIDI. That's why we call this phantom power. Power is run in the five wire MIDI cable. Mm -hmm. 
Oh, I'm left-handed, by the way. Don't let this throw you. Or I turn the triggers off. You can play the Zitar one note per string, guitar mode, for playing standard guitar styles with all your bar chords and hammer-ons. And for poly mode, you can play more than one note per string, which will give you a lot of extra combinations and chord voicings and sounds. I'll switch over to that and demonstrate it in tapping style so you get the full effect. Your instrument may have installed on it what we call a TCA-1, or trigger cap assembly. It's this bank of six programmable expression pads that you can use to assign notes and chords, pressure sensitive effects, and a lot of different things that give you access into the MIDI world, playing loops and beats for instance. I'm going to demonstrate a couple of features for it. For one, I'm going to show attaching a chord off the fingerboard right down onto these pads, then you can play them back. I'm going to set up a few different chords real quick and then show you how you can play them back and then play something over it. I'll set it on my lap so you can see what I'm doing. I'll just play the chord. Tap the record pad. And I set the chord right there. I'll try another one. Another one. Again. like that. The last one I had set up to arpeggiate the notes. It'll play them in sequence this time. All right, here's what I've got. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> 